In Peshawar, northwest Pakistan, journalists protested against the killing of two reporters and another staff member of a news agency. Armed militants stormed into the agency's office in the city of Quetta and shot the employees late on August 28. The protesters demanded that the government ensure the protection of media workers and bring the killers to justice. Also in Peshawar, a university professor celebrated his return home nearly four years after he was kidnapped by the Taliban. Ajmal Khan, the vice chancellor of Islamia College University, had been held by militants since September 2010. Pakistani officials say he was freed after a military operation, but Taliban sources say the professor was freed in exchange for the release of an imprisoned Taliban commander. In Afghanistan, the Independent Election Commission asked the United Nations to increase the number of monitors auditing votes from the country's presidential election. An IEC spokesman said the audit could be finished within days if the UN help is provided. The ballots from June's runoff are being examined because candidate Abdullah Abdullah claimed massive fraud was committed to ensure the election of his opponent, Ashraf Ghani. In the Bosnian city of Mostar, the leaders of four Balkan countries signed a declaration urging governments to resolve the fates of citizens who remain missing after conflicts. The agreement was signed by the presidents of Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro and Bosnia-Herzegovina ahead of International Day of the Disappeared, observed on August 30th. An estimated 11,000 people remain missing as a result of the Balkan Wars of the 1990s. In Kyrgyzstan, the Karasu region is suffering from severe drought exacerbated by Uzbekistan's closure of a key waterway. Authorities in Uzbekistan said the channel was closed because of the low water levels in an upstream reservoir. Kyrgyz officials say some 40,000 people and 3,000 hectares of crops are affected by the lack of water. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.